Well, hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and we are back on another live stream tonight on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Remember, if you want the closed captions, subtitles, those tiny texts that appear at the bottom of the screen as I speak, you can activate them on YouTube and Facebook manually. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss when I publish, when I go live on these live streams and download my free 100 body language tips right in the description of this video and in the bio of any platform that you're watching this from. Let's start because we have a lot to unpack today. And yes, Meghan is reportedly blocking Harry from having his own brand. That is today's main topic, but also we will be looking at William and George body language really close to see what was happening. What, what was William telling George at that game? And that mysterious picture of Megan with this mysterious woman. We don't know who she is, but we will be finding out today right here in a minute. Let's start with this. Megan blocking Harry from having his own brand. You know that we have talked about this for a uh, uh, quite a few months that they want to separate their brands. And Megan has been working on her own brand since we saw that, well, she just went with our swipes all by herself. I guess that she said, well, if Harry's book is going to be his, yeah, right, then maybe the podcast is going to be mine. So that's how they have been playing. But Harry has a big problem with that. He hasn't been able to take off and people that are claiming that Megan has some kind of uh, success that he's jealous about. But the problem, the real problem with, ha with Harry, I'm going to um, tell you what is the real problem with Harry. Harry wants to prove himself to his dad. He wants to prove that he's not a dimwit. He wants to prove that he's not thick as a brick. He wants to prove that he can make it as well, regardless if he's a royal or not. And with that word, he wants to prove that he's worthy. I remember that. That is the, the word that Jada Pinkett Smith picked for her own memoir, worthy. You know, spare, worthy. It's all in the same ballpark. In this case is a bit more narcissistic. But yes, Harry wants to prove himself like worthy. But even if uh, King Charles is, um, how can I say this? He still loves Harry. Of course, it's his son. He loves Harry, but um, he is okay with Harry doing whatever he wants overseas. And regardless of what uh, those uh, strange accounts and evil accounts want to make you think about any rift between King Charles and Prince William, that ain't, that is not happening anytime soon. And well, Harry wants to prove himself, has to wants to prove his worth, and wants to prove something to William as well. But Harry says, "How can I do that?" And many of you have already complained about the fact that uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex still appear in the uh, royal family's website. And I was checking, just in case, you know that I checked every once, uh, uh, um, every once in a while, and it's a bit, how can I say that? How can I put this in a soft way? It's um, disturbing, concerning, upsetting, my good word, upsetting that Meghan appears just beside the Duke of Kent. That is not fair to the Duke of Kent. How come Megan is beside the Duke of Kent? It's like it's like she's looking at the Duke of Kent, by the way, in the, in a silly, evil way. That that should not be like that. That is that is so wrong in so many levels. But we we will have to deal with this for a long time because they are not going anywhere soon from the website. They, the royal family, King Charles, are not going to uh, change that. And by the way, Harry's work at Better Up. It's uh, in decline because Better Up in itself has been quite silent about their own PR. You know that Harry is, uh, let me remember, remind you, Chief Impact Officer, perhaps the most BS, 
BS job in the world. And their chief, chief impact officer hasn't done anything because the last time any PR was available of better up and uh, the media was back in August, more than two months ago. And these months are critical because we are uh, coming closer to Christmas time. And yeah, this uh, in the mental health department, this can take a toll on people. Yes, and they have virtually disappeared from the uh, from everywhere. So no, Harry is not doing a great job by any means. He's not taking his job seriously. So that, that is not the way that he's going to prove his worth anytime soon. And at the same time, daily fail. Meghan Markle knows her commercial value. Oh, that, 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 that came out wrong. That commercial value, quote unquote, came really wrong. I'm, I'm a gentleman. I, I would not use those. I'm just reading a headline by the Daily Fail and maybe planning a relaunch after a summer of public appearances. Royal expert claimed they say that on November the 1st, Megan is going to launch something. I, I, I wonder, I'm going to get, go, uh, get ahead of myself if it's going to be a line of uh, Panama hats. And I'm going to mention her. Panama hats in a while. And I ask a question on Twitter. What do you think would be Megan's name for her brand new line of Panama hats? She needs a brand. She needs a brand. And who better than you, my rogies, that are so brilliant on all the ideas that you pitch me in those beautiful comments? You, you should have good ideas for that Panama hat line. Megan's Panama hat. But well, it's time to talk about this Mr. Woman, which Megan made sure to t take a picture back in that mental health uh, event. And uh, she was beside Megan, and she is D. Poku. Who, she's an entrepreneur uh, who works with uh, um, making some kind of a networking, could I say, uh, to be, between women leaders. I, I have this uh, this uh, bit of a bio here. She's the founder and CEO of WIE. Uh, that, that sounds like WME, but it's not the same. An influential women's leadership network. WIE connects emerging and established women leaders. Oh, that's why Megan wants to hang out with her and works to equip the next generation with the tools to succeed. The organization has attracted an incredible range of speakers to its global symposiums and salons. That's why Megan wants to be close to her, including Donna Karen, Ariana Huffington, Queen Rania, Melinda Gates, Diane von Frunsterberg, Nancy Pelosi, Jill Biden, Alec Wegg, blah, 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 Tyra Banks, blah, 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 Rosaria Dawson, and Christy Torlington. Okay, that's now we know. Now we know why Megan is interested in hanging out with her, you know, in that regard, I understand. And by the way, it, it, there's also this uh, picture here that she was named one of the best dressed back in August uh, by Elle magazine, the Poku. Uh, that, that is interesting as well. I, I think she's got the whole enchilada, this, the same thing that Megan is looking for, the powerful, empowering uh, leadership woman plus the influencer at the same time, all in a single package. No, that's She must be trying to get some, um, you know, mojo or clout or the lessons. How can I, how can I move and shake the tree so I can claim a bit higher? In that regard, I'm going, I, I'm going to say this as a communicator and as an specialist in these um, affairs, M Megan is doing the right thing. You have to get close to the people that act and behave and have the things that you aspire to. So that's um, that's one positive point for Megan. Ne never believe that because Megan does these kind of things, that is not the right way to do things. That That is, I have to tell you, I, we can criticize Megan many ways, but I cannot tell you that is this, this is the wrong approach because it is not. That is the right approach. You identify people that you want to be like, that are successful in that field, and you go for it. Think about that. And I want to mention this tweet from Megan Small. It's interesting. Body language. We got body language as well in the Royal Rogue. 
The way a woman looks at her man can reveal a lot about the relationship. Prove me wrong. Megan Small, you are right. And we are used to that way Catherine looks at William, right? That lovely way Catherine looks at William. It's something that melts your heart. And on the other hand, uh, sorry, the wrong image. On the other hand, oh, well. What can we say about Megan looking at Harry? Me Megan looks like she is constipated or something. You know that there, there, there are things that help you with that. Maybe olive oil can help, or maybe more, more uh, vegetable salad. But yeah, constipation is a real thing. And the battle language of constipation. I should do a video on that. But that's why all that is happening. That's why we have the Prince Harry may reportedly feel jealous of Meghan Markle's success, and we ask which success she's had public appearances. And that's it. That's it. She's had public appearances, uh, taking a few pictures, uh, being in a motorcade, like seven vehicles uh, along 200 meters, and that's pretty much it. And that's this is something that is concerning to Meghan in the sense that uh, some uh, a bit of uh, gossip Prince Harry house hunting in UK as he wants Sussex family to spend more time in Britain. Not a chance, Harry. That isn't going to happen. Maybe he's house hunting in the UK. But it's uh, it's to have a chance at growing a brand in America because he's realizing that after the trailblazer that his wife, his lovely wife, is, he doesn't stand much of a... a, a, a um, an opportunity in America. I, I, I'm lacking here the picture of Harry with that cowboy hat, but that would be, that would be uh, uh, embarrassing. That that would be upsetting for the farmers, right? The farmers that Harry said, oh, you know, a farmer, the farmers that have these ostrich boots and they don't know how to use social media. No, Harry, you wrong approach. You're not doing things right. You are so wrong, and I'm sure. From that UN speech, I'm 100% sure that Meghan is playing the contrast game. The more Harry fails, the better Meghan looks. It's that simple. But let's move on to our second topic our today. Harry's gray suit. Harry and Meghan touch down in Atlanta after Caribbean vacation, airport runway, pap shots by back grade. Oh my God, let's dial a pap fast, quick dial. Uh, the paps to uh, uh, Megan absolutely looks like Wallace in these pictures. And Harry, well, Harry looks like Harry. Uh, I, I, I cannot complain, but this is why I was mentioning the Panama hats. Megan is having her Panama hat on her head. And my other question is, does Megan have one single Panama hat or has uh, like a complete room at Montecito full of Panama hats? That that's, a, that's the kind of questions that I ponder when I'm falling asleep and all of a sudden my brain says, do you think Megan has one Panama hat or has a lot of them back in Montecito? And I open my eyes and then say, oh my God, I cannot sleep right now. Because of the Panama hat conundrum. That that is something that 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 is this is the kind of things that keep me up at night. I have to confess. I have to tell you, this is the kind of things that keep me up at night. Besides, layer of the manner. Hey Maxi, you got a little something on the side of your mouth. I I I did not understand the joke at first sight because I'm I'm too naive. I I'm 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 so innocent, but I'm then I saw. Cream of the island. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What what how can I put this? This is the kind of things that when I see cream of the islands, that, that, that's when I understand or remember that there are these differences between American and British English. And you know, uh, cream of the islands is something that that opens up the imagination. And someone said that that is very appropriate for a uh, for coming from a yacht club and so many things that uh, I, I'm trying to say say here without saying that you know uh, jumping uh, better but let's move on shall we uh, UK Brit how long were they away from their children 
Good question. At this point, the nanny has more of a relationship with them than their own parents. Uh, what did Harry say in his book? I grew up with absentee parents. I don't wish that on any child unless it's his own, of course. And I want to mention this. This is something that I tweeted. It's not that a couple can't keep their kids private and never show them. That's okay. That's perfectly understandable. Many couples are like that. Is that you see said couple traveling all over the world without them and without extended family at home to look after the kids. Not that I care, but still. And maybe you can mention uh, Doria and... I, I would still be concerned. If you know what I mean? I will still be, be concerned. The office of HRH, Riley Dog, not to mention, these children are in the line of succession to the British throne with royal titles. The people of the UK are entitled to proof of their legitimacy, which has never been provided to the people. You know, those, um, the, the birth certificates, right? Uh, there's so many questions about those birth certificates. Now, those are the kind of questions that my attorney says, please, Jesus, keep talking about the Panama hat for once. But at some point, uh, we know that we, the, the, the trough will be unveiled. Don't want to provide the proof. Get out of the line. It's Maybe it's that simple. Maybe it's not that simple. But maybe we should uh, ask their uh, Lily's godfather, by the way, who has his main headquarters in Atlanta, where they were landing. Why they were traveling to Atlanta is a big question. Tyler Perry is hard at work there. And it's uh, this is like the proof that he is uh, he has his own empire and he's building. You know that when you stay through the credits of most movies, you see that a lot of those movies were filmed or have any have to, uh, something to do with Atlanta, right? In, in Hollywood, it's very common. It's because Atlanta has these uh, benefits that are very, it's very easy to produce uh, films there. So Tyler Perry has his uh, headquarters in there. Maybe it's a coincidence. And it's interesting as well that right there, we, this is fresh. Four hours ago, this is today, four hours ago, the prolific filmmaker's rags to riches story is unraveled in first Maxine's Baby, the Tyler Perry stories trailer. So uh, Tyler Perry seems to have the real deal of a rags to riches story. It's interesting. In fact, we saw this. Billionaire, billionaire with a B, Tyler Perry takes the car he once lived out of when he was homeless for a spin. Just to, uh, in case you uh, say that this is fake news, it's not the same car, but it's the same car model. He made sure to buy the same car model uh, to just to remember the time when he was homeless and he slept in the car to remember those, those roots, right? Maybe you will think that this is PR, but I say that sometimes you have to stay grounded how to stay focused. And by the way, I uh, have a couple of things to say about Tyler Perry. And maybe that's why Megan needs Tyler Perry on her corner at all costs. Remember that uh, Tyler Perry was really hardworking. I, I was checking his Wikipedia page and I haven't really seen uh, someone so prolific in, in Hollywood. By, by the way, he made this uh, kind of, um, of, um, uh, of this, this cooperation, this collab with this partnership with Oprah back in 2012. Very lucrative partnership. Why did Oprah have this partnership with Tyler Perry? I'm going to say that he reminds me of Adam Sandler. Uh, he reminds me of Adam Sandler in one in many ways in which I, I admire Adam Sandler much more than Tyler Perry in our cases, but they know what do people find entertaining. That's undeniable. They know how to use the formula for people that want to be entertained. This is important for Megan. You will see in, in, a, in a minute. They know how to produce the thing. They know how to move, move the money to produce this kind of things. And they know how the uh, movie making business works. So they have all this, and, and they are, yes, they very engaging in their, char their characters that they portray. And well, the difference is that Tyler Perry is a billionaire, $1 billion net worth, and Adam Sandler is around 
400 million, only 400 million. The difference is that uh, Tyler Perry is is the whole is the whole package. The guy knows how to uh, direct, to write in not only comedy but drama, and knows business. So yes, the 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 uh, the man has earned his his money. I have to tell you, the man has earned his money, and I can imagine that Megan cannot let that pass. That's that's why it was so easy for him to help Megan in a time of need. And I don't, uh, and being the Lily's godfather, you know that maybe that's the reason why he is Lily's godfather. That that will be the reason why. That will be the reason why. And his mom, for those that had asked, this is the last time that I could find that Tyler Perry's private jet was photographed regarding the articles. These were taken at Montecito Airport when he went there to visit Harry and Meghan. I don't believe the jet they just flew into Atlanta is Tyler's. But, well, we have talked about one secret billionaire around who is willing to make some kind of a pitch for Meghan as soon as the WME, the PR company that is uh, uh, carrying Meghan's brand, fails up until next spring. Maybe it would be Tyler Perry, but isn't he Megan's friend? Or maybe that is still business. You know how his business. Uh, the business is business. Maybe if, if Tyler is such a businessman, he knows he knows how to do business. Royal expert, expert Princess Consuela Banana. Why is our tax dollars spent on these idiots? Record inflation, high cost of foods, and now this. Yeah, you see, U.S. Customs and Border Protection going directly to. Harry and Meghan to protect them. But well, yes, we have this insights about why Meghan could be arriving at Atlanta. At the same time, you know that things are happening and the uh, the good side good side of things to Tyler Perry and uh, you cannot help but I have to put this. <laughs> you cannot help but think that there are interests at play in here because that's how that, that that's how Megan works in so many ways because why otherwise she 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 was in New York then she jumped by a private jet to an island in the Caribbean to spend how many days I don't know how many days then he jumps to Atlanta I mean wasn't being a mother the best job in the world I'm not criticizing anybody. I really don't care. But when it 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 comes to children, it's sad. I have to tell you, it, it's uh, when it comes to children, is it's sad. A story that I forgot. If you don't like me saying Lily or Lilybed, remind me if I, I think it, it's it's uh, Lilybed is the right way to call call her right because Lily was the was the nickname of her late Majesty. Right? Please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong in the, the live uh, in the live comments, and I keep an eye on that to keep learning. But let's talk about let's talk about this. Oh my God, how time has passed! The times fly in this uh, in these live streams. Let's talk about the third topic of uh, today's live stream. Prince William, according to page six, you know that page six is uh, there are shields of Meghan Markle. There. Are, most of the time when someone pops up with a photo, uh, yes, it's um, it's uh, page six that makes sure to put that photo up front. But this time they went too low regarding William and George. Prince William appears to scold Prince George at Rugby World Cup 2023. What is this? Oh my God, what is this? This is not happening. Thanks to Dimitri Autumn, that is one of the best reactions that I saw on Twitter about this. You should be ashamed of yourself. This must be reported as misinformation and harassment of a child. You don't know. Uh, uh, mad, that's clearly not what's happening. For God's sake, stop this nonsense. I get you're paid by the despicable duo to write BS on William and Catherine, but this is way too much. And I agree. I, I, I had to make memes of this. I have to make um, uh, a meme of this. Okay, Lilibet was the nickname of the late queen, so I should call her Lily, right? All right. 
All right, yeah. The queen was unable to pronounce her own name when she was little, calling herself Lilibet, and it's stuck. So we need to call Lily, right? Okay, Lily. Oh, my God. There's so many nicknames that you're writing in the live chat. Oh, my God. And now we have the live chat running here. The live chat is a permanent feature. It will be a permanent feature on the live stream. So if John Connor, this is what I think this is what William was telling George at that moment. So if John Connor hadn't sent Kyle Reese back in time, he wouldn't exist. See the paradox? Oh, well, that's, that would be a, a, a man teaching his son about the this questions about pop culture. That 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 will be the right. And you, you can see that his index finger, you, you can say, but he's using his index finger. But William's index finger is nowhere pointing at George. It's pointing away from him. It's like he's pointing away for, to, to something. Okay. And George is, is imagining what William is talking about. And William is very engaged with him. That is what happened at that moment. And at the same time, you see that William leans into George to be able to talk to him and looks at him. He is like George is paying more attention to the rugby match than William and has also his palms open, like with this openness, with uh, doing this hand gestures to support his own words. William is trying to talk very engaging, very engaging to George. Very interesting moment, very cute moment between father and son, and no, not scolding at all. These people are just making up things. And you can see even he's touching his uh, his shoulder and his neck at some point, also talking to, to him, also leaning into him, very engaging with him, and many pictures. Yeah, two future kings. Agree, Gloria Thornton. Agree with that, with that, uh, with that comment completely. And we have three minutes left. Prince and Princess of Wales tries Britannia. Tries Britannia says the haters think that the Wales children are suffering by being seen out with their parents. The reality is they will be well-rounded and mature children for having met people from all walks of life from all over the world. Meanwhile, the children who are hidden and being raised by staff because their parents are globetrotting without them will be ill-prepared for the world. I would not wish that upon them, but it's something that is, it's, it's, that is how things are. You need to get your children out, out there to interact with other children, to interact with adults, to understand how, how things work. And maybe, maybe Archie and Lily are too small, by the way. But th at the same time, that is a critical age. That is a critical age. That is the most critical age for emotional development. You're, your spend every day at that age is precious. Is precious in every way. Felicia, Kathy met soccer. Bollocks, they reminds us all about Diana and little William. This picture. Felicia, you nailed it. How do my rogues, how do my rogues find these pictures? I don't know. This is baffling to me. They have a photographic memory, eidetic memory. I don't know what kind of uh Mutant memory do they have to be able to make this kind of compositions? But, but this is amazing. Just plain amazing. Diana and William, 1991. George and William, 2023. That is, that is just amazing. And exactly, exactly the same. Jay Moore, thanks for your super sticker. Thank you, Jay Moore. Thanks a lot. Let me see if there's any, any other comment that I can... Oh, uh, let me see. Oh my God, one minute, oh, 30 seconds. I agree with you. I love you, Jenna. Any person who uses another's personal nickname for their own game have absolutely no respect for the person it came from. Agreed. And yes, gain is the word. That why, that's why we call Megan me. Gain. Uh, he's explaining the game to him. Yeah, I agree that William was ex maybe explaining gaming or maybe explaining another thing, but that was not a scolding at all. By Roger Rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Roger Rogue. And until we meet in another video or another live, remember the two most important words much love and bliss.
Bye-bye. Take care. I love you all.